All right, guys. The day has finally come where your girl got her hands on, like, the logic reel. Or one of them. I already have the other one. Hi, guys. So, today, I finally got my hands on something super exciting. I have to leave feedback and stuff for the seller, so we're gonna get into that later. You guys already know what this is by the thumbnail, but I'm just still gonna act like it's suspenseful. Oh, the tape is just basically coming off. So let me just open this. I'm so nervous because of how this was shipped. Please don't be bad. It's not bent! Okay. Props to that girl. Oh my god. Is this real life? Like I'm fucking holding this. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Okay. She did wrap this really, really well. She, I mean, she kind of had to for how much I paid for it. So did message her and ask her if she was going to use a box or what. So then she said she'd double bubble wrap it for me. So she was super nice. You guys, it arrived. I'm like speechless, like... <laughs> I'm good. <gasps> it even has the insert! I got everybody on vinyl and then when I opened it she has the insert right on the inside here so it's the everybody and then it is the songs with the producer information and then a little thank you note I've seen this on Depop someone listed just this on Depop for five dollars literally debated it because I was like I'm never gonna own the record so why not just buy that never bought it this is the inside. Oh, their sleeves. Side A, side B. She did what I used to do, which was put them in and then have them like so that way they would just slide right out. I don't do that anymore because they get dust on the inside of them. Okay. And then there's this one. Okay. You guys. So that she only played it once, so there's no scratches. It is a little dusty, but I do have record cleaner, so that's no problem. But yeah, I don't see any like scrapes in the actual record itself. This is crazy. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do a close-up of this and everything for you guys, but I'm just honestly speechless right now, so. We'll get into the, the close-up now. Oh my god, I still can't believe that this is, like, real right now. This is in my possession! So there's the front. And then the iconic... In my opinion, I really like the side on this. Logic, everybody. And then the back. It has the track list and everything. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just so freaking cool. I'm gonna take the little like inner sleeve out for you guys so you guys can see it too. This is just mind blowing to me. But it has like the producer information underneath each song. And then of course you guys wanna see the inside here. Adam, what Adam equals. A little more there. Just really cool sketches in here. Really like how they did this. Adam looks awesome. And then the rest.
records themselves have the little like V on them. So this is what the first one looks like. It's just the reverse coloring. So really smooth and crisp on that. Go ahead and clean these and um, give Killing Spree a listen. <laughs> Vinyl Alive Fluid. I have my static, anti-static brush here. I'm just gonna set this down here. Breaking it in. It's on the turntable. This is crazy. Now this is how I clean my records. I feel like every person has their own method. Please do not judge me. I'm not saying this is 100% correct, but this is what I like to do. So I put one drop, so just that way each side has a little drop on it. Take my brush in the direction that it's supposed to go. So the arrow's pointing this way. So I'm gonna put the brush this way. And instead of me going like that direction, I'm just going to slide the record on the turntable in that direction right on the edge here. I think this is one of the coolest ways to just clean a record. Now I can see all the dust in a row here, so I'm literally going to slide it off. You never just wanna like brush it down, just slide it off. You can see the liquid on there and some of the dust residue. Slide underneath it a few times. And then I'll do the same thing and like spin, but slowly bring it off to the side. Killing spree, you guys. Is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be good? I don't know. I'm nervous. Oh my god! I haven't listened to this song forever. Shit going on, loving on, but I don't give a fuck, my favorite show is coming on. Hashtag pray for this, pray for that. You ain't doing shit, get away from that. Blame it on a black, blame it on the white, blame it on a gun, blame it on a Muslim. Everybody wanna blame him, blame her, just blame it on the motherfucker killing everyone. Everybody wanna get high, everybody wanna live life like they can't die. Everybody gotta be right, everybody's scrolling, scrolling through their likes. I wish they would like me like I like their pictures. I love you, Ansel! There's a reason you turn up the night. Come away with me, come away with me. Let me take you from this world of insanity. Y'all, it sounds good on record. They pressed this nice. Adding this to the collection, you guys. I'm adding this to the collection. Bro, we have so many now. Like, this is insane. I literally own every single Logic album. I can't even comprehend. I'm still speechless, but that sounded so good. That felt so good. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was me opening up the Everybody record. But if anyone is wondering, just to disclose and say whatever, I did pay for this with my own money. Um, I sold some stuff on eBay and that's what I used this money for. It was $110 plus $9 shipping. So she originally had it listed at $120 and she said that she would do $110. So I got it for $119. That is a lot. I don't know how much this was originally in the merch store. I would say this was anywhere from $25 to $35 on his merch shop. I paid triple retail. Had several people message me trying to sell me their copies of it and um, it was I think the lowest one that I got offered was around like $250 was the lowest and I you know it ain't gonna happen I bit the bullet when I saw this one it literally got posted within an hour of me seeing it and I purchased it so after I had messaged her so if she's watching this thank you so much you were super super kind and really understanding so I really appreciate that. I'm so happy to have this. I am gonna be listening to it. Some people will not listen to it. I'm gonna to listen to it and enjoy it. I do have to skip a few songs, but that's okay. This is amazing alone to have the artwork like this. I did go on Mercari and there are some other listings for this that are not 
as bad um, as like $500 and stuff. I think there's one that's around $120 as well. So if anybody's interested in this record, I will put the link to Mercari down below that has the sellers on there with the record. I will warn you though, I don't know if they're scams or not. Uh, definitely where you'd have to reach out to the seller and get a vibe for it and make sure that you pay with PayPal so you have the buyer's back guarantee. So nervous when I bought this. I thought it was going to be a scam, but it's in my hands. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Thank you so much for supporting me and, um, you know, this, this record did a lot for my channel. It means a lot to me, even though it's not a lot of people's favorite record or album by Bobby, but it means a lot to me and I just want to hold it as close as possible and sleep comfortably knowing that I own every single Logic record now. <laughs> I completed my collection today. That's so crazy. That's so crazy. The next one that I'm gonna have to try and buy is the Five Sauce picture disc. So I'll have all the Five Sauce albums. Fudge. I think that one's more expensive than this or they're around the same price. Like, I just, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm in awe. <laughs> but I love you guys, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.